Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> Listen, that that clip of Xander forgetting that to welcome the guest <laughs> was Bro. top tier. <laughs> top tier. I, I didn't know what else to do. Because I it, the whole time, the whole 20, 25 minutes in, I'm like, because he was hosting. So I'm like, I was just give I was just letting it breathe. I'm like, well, maybe, maybe a clue. <laughs> it, it was great. And then the realization, he looked, he was like, not yet. And then after it clicked. Yeah, it took him a second. It took him a second. That was a, that was a good one. That was a good one, man. Now, I feel like uh, the last couple, I mean, shit, the last time we recorded, yeah, we did three. That was a little marathon, but it was fun. It was fun. We it made, worked out. We made a night of it. And it worked out. It did. Because our schedules. Yeah, thankfully. Thankfully, yeah. yeah. The schedules are starting to fill up now. We got that summer, spring, summer season. Listen, man. This mm. you, uh, mm. I'm going on vacation tomorrow. Tomorrow, guys. I'm out. Tomorrow. And the day that I had today was just oh. back to back. So this is like, yes, it's time. Yes. It's time. Because I was trying to. So what I've done in the past, especially because I'm flying out in the afternoon tomorrow. Uh, what I've done in the past was if I'm flying out in the afternoon, I would still book stuff in the morning. Yeah. So I was like, you know, this time I don't want to book anything in the morning. I still have to run some errands tomorrow. Uh-huh. uh-huh. But th- those those are errands. It's, it's a day off. It's a day off. It is. We're not working tomorrow. So I was nonstop today, back to back to back to back to back. That last uh, listen, I'm not going to be available. So uh, this is it. This is all you get from me. And if you need anything, I'm really sorry. You know what's the crazy part? I don't even tell a lot of my clients that I'm going on vacation. Um, it just naturally just happens. Yeah. It's like the world knows I'm going on vacation. So it's like <laughs> before you go. Yeah. Uh, a little anxiety. <laughs> hey, can you do this thing for me real quick? Um, do you do you set a uh, out of office notification on your inbox? Nah, you just let it ride. I might, I might. Actually, not really, because I'm still responding to emails. Okay, all right. I didn't know if you were planning on like, because it's just the notification of like, hey man, maybe you don't expect me to respond right away. Yeah. Well, a lot of them kind of know. Yeah. Just from conversations, from pure excitement, from yeah. like, I'm sure. going on vacation sure. soon. But otherwise, I'm pretty responsive. Fair enough. For the most I mean, part. Yeah, you got to be. You got that entrepreneurial spirit. I get, a, I get an email and it's like, hey, uh, let's plan for this day. I don't even tell them a lot of the time. Yeah. Let's plan. <laughs> My schedule opened up on this day over here. Yep. It yep. works out. As it, as it turns out, we do have some availability on this day. Dude, that's one of the things that I'm trying to figure out now, bro. Uh, I got... I got a large territory that I cover for work. And so scheduling yeah. stuff is tough, man. Cause it's like, you got to drive out there. What's that's fine. But it's the, it's the, I'm in, you know, Philly yesterday. And then, Hey, can you go to Baltimore? Hey, can you go to Maine? Like, so the, the stacking scheduling geography thing is like, it's a challenge and yeah. I'm learning that skill. You should, you should, you should uh, lobby to get for them to get you a company car. Do pay for mileage. It's not the same though. But like I'd be racking up miles, bro. <laughs> I got some miles coming. What's what <laughs> when I worked in corporate America, the mileage that they paid me at the time was fifty six cents a mile. Yeah. Is that is that where it's at? I think it's like sixty two. Oh, inflation, 60, baby. Yeah, inflation. So like Jersey multiple times within the last several weeks. Listen, like, those mileage checks be hitting. I when I did the math real quick, I'm like, yo. And I, t- I hit up my boss. I'm like, hey, th- we're racking some miles up here. He's like, dude, expense it. I'm like, all right. If you say so. <laughs> Just making sure that y'all are not surprised by this. They this, were ready. On top of that, this is when I worked at, uh, I, had, I, I had to submit miles for, for two jobs. For AT&T, when I worked at AT&T. Mm-hmm. And then when I sold insurance. When I was at AT&T, I was a manager. So they gave me a corporate card. Yeah. So... I didn't have to pay for gas. I just used a corporate mm. card, but I still claimed miles. Nice. So I was like double dipping. And hey. I was like, are you sure I can do this? They're like, oh, yeah, go ahead. I'm like, hey, man. All right. I'm just following. I was like, can you send that in, uh, uh, via email? So I, I didn't <laughs> pay for it. Put it in writing. Put please. it in writing. Just, I don't want, I don't want no, no confusion when, yeah, when they pull up. Hey, man, you need to, especially in this day and age, man. Speaking of email. Hey, 
Hey everybody, welcome to the Offbeat Podcast, the podcast about music, relationships, culture, you name it, we talk about it. My name is Rick. Over here to my left, we got Shannon. How you doing, Shannon? I'm doing fantastic. Doing great. Doing great, man. Uh, our boy X is uh, on assignment, unavailable today. Shout out to X. Shout out to X. Pour one out for him, figuratively and, and metaphorically. I guess just No, pour one out. That, that's dark. Pour one out is usually for the homies that are no longer here. All right, fine. I redact my pouring one out for Xander. Uh, I was just about to talk about um, emails, emails, paper trail, paper, paper trail. trail. Okay. So uh, I don't know enough about this story. I happened to catch a glimpse of this story just before we went on air. Uh, <laughs> um, but it was, um, is it Jonathan Waters? Jonathan the, Majors. Jonathan Majors. Yes. My man got arrested recently. You know, before we get into okay, that, okay, okay. I'm, I'm <laughs> upset that he got arrested because like, America was falling in love with him. He was yeah. on his ascension. Yeah, he sure was. Yes. And and then continue. And then So all, all, what I read was that apparently, it's talking about paper trail, there's new evidence has surfaced f- from the lawyer uh, basically exonerating him, essentially saying, like, here's the proof that she she was saying some stuff and that it was kind of on her. I'm not, this is not my opinion. I'm just stating what I read. Don't flame me, okay? I don't want to hear it. Allegedly. Allegedly, please. Yeah, but, um, you know, that's the thing, man. You put something in writing. It stays. It's there. Even, even y'all, those disappearing messages, those be living on servers, man. Who has access to those? The people who run the servers. So Snapchat got gold in their hands. <laughs> if you ever wanted to blackmail someone, Snapchat got Go ahead and hack them Snapchat servers. Listen, but on the Jonathan Major stuff, yeah. I read the the text message. Mm. And did you read the text messages? I did not. I did not. I just read the headline like a normie. I gotta find it. Yeah, please. We're gonna dive into it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Just because Unpack. it's giving uh it's giving <laughs> I know you're a big deal and I don't want to mess it up for you. But Okay. I, I, That's the energy that we were getting from the female uh uh involved in the story here. I feel I I'll let you come with you. Okay. All right. I got to find I will here. draw my own conclusion. I just I just saw it. Let me see. Um but it's it, crazy how, how quick news travels though, right? You can't say shit, man. It's like immediately on the internet and then rebroadcast everywhere. Facts. Instant. I found it. Okay. All right. Um, first text messages. First okay. text message. Here we go. Uh, please let me know when you're okay when you get this. Please let me know you're okay when you get this. They assured me that you won't be charged. They said they had to arrest you as protocol when they saw the injuries on me and they knew we had a fight. Mm. I'm so angry they, uh, that they did. This lady writes crazy. <laughs> and I'm sorry for, uh, I'm sorry you're in this position. We will make sure nothing happens about this. Okay. Um, Maybe I, English second language? I, I, could, I could also be going through it too. Uh, <laughs> I told them it was my fault for trying to grab your phone. Uh, I only just got out of the hospital. Just call me when you get this. Mm. All right. That's one, right? And then she sent a follow-up one. Okay. Um, This is really small here. They sent this, they sent a screenshot from an iPad. Okay. (laughs) They just called again to check on, uh, check out, to check on me. I reiterated how this was not an attack and they do not have my blessing on any charges being placed. Okay. I read the paper. They gave me about strangulation and I said, point blank, this is this did not occur. Uh, wow. It should be removed immediately. Wow. The judge is definitely going to be told this. She ensured this to me. I know you have the best team and there's uh, nothing to worry about. I just want you to know that I'm doing all I can on my end. Wow. I also said uh, to tell the judge <laughs> to know that the origin of the call was to do with me, was to do with me collapsing and passing out and uh and your worry uh as a partner for me that's a long text message it is <clears throat> um is that a phone call that's I, do you think he had access to his phone so us based on me reading the the screenshot yeah, yeah. either two things could happen there was no communication he didn't text back yep it looks like before that the last thing he sent her was the day before like eight in the morning no other text messages okay. after that okay 
So he could very well have been ignoring her calls. Right. Uh, because <sighs> damn, if you get charged for any yeah. domestic, I'm sure. Hey, don't don't th- talk. Don't don't talk. Let's, Lawyer up. Yeah, yeah. Immediately, don't say anything. Um, but also, it feels kind of cover upish to me. I'm I'm not saying that Jonathan Majors yeah. is guilty, or whatever. Yeah. But it seems like hey, like growing up. As a, as a Puerto Rican, uh-huh. I was always told, keep the family business at home. And it feels very, keep it at home. Okay. Yeah. From the text messages. Yeah. Like, oh, they, you know, it's just crazy. Wow. <clears throat> Sounds like a messy situation. It is unfortunate. It is unfortunate um, that, that that happened. I, I tend to agree with you. I mean, it seemed like he was kind of, you know, really starting to pop off. Mm-hmm. Um, But, you know, hi- history, if history has taught us anything, is that, you know, like uh, people come around. Uh, I think Robert Downey Jr. is a great example of somebody who like hit rock bottom, pretty, pretty damn mm-hmm. rock bottom. Yeah. And, you know, skyrocketed back to success. So yeah. um, OJ. You know. I don't know about skyrocketed <laughs> back to success. Just He just bounced back a little bit. Man, that guy is so sus. He's free. Yes, that is a factual statement. <laughs> he is free. <laughs> He was, and he's and he's giving his insight on murder trials that are happening right now. It's wild. Did you send that video recently? <laughs> I, think, I, you, I think you did, man. At that, that was, point, he just has to, he had to be quiet. Yeah, maybe don't. <laughs> it's like you know, I have I have a little thing to say about murder. Uh, oh man, In my opinion. Yeah, that that guy, man. Anyway, OJ, God bless him. God bless him wherever he is. Uh, that's that is a free man, as, as Shannon said. Um, but yeah, man, we're here. We're doing it. We're doing it. I got uh, I got a little docket for us, Shannon. Let's do I, it. I prepared uh, some items for for our discussion here. I love it. Uh, so uh, one of the things um, that has come up recently among our conversations offline, y'all, is uh, is the use of Chat GPT. Yes, and and the manner in which it has helped us, but also just watching everybody leverage it in the many iterations of. Uh, of chat the many iterations of how people are using it right and and i don't want to get too technical so please stop me when i do because i i tend to fall into rabbit holes in short you have the base concept of ai right chat gpt we're up to chat gpt4 right now so if you think of like android and how android is a thing that runs on phones and then you got samsung you got, well, there used to be way more manufacturers, but you got multiple manufacturers using Android. So now take that logic and apply it to AI. People are taking the base AI engine and then applying it to different things. And so you're able to produce different things. So like, you know, image uh, illustrations, you know, like the Lenza app that popped off, like stuff like that. It's using the same source, but chat GPT is just text-based right now. Yep. And they're adding functionality, but all that to say is, uh, I've used it. <laughs> you guys can probably tell, uh, I've used it a ton for like the YouTube descriptions. Cause writing YouTube descriptions is a pain in the ass. Yep. Uh, Oh, what did we talk about on the podcast? Hmm. All right. Let me see. Think, think, think topics and then come up with something catchy and witty. Like it's hard to do. And I'm not saying that I'm illiterate, but it's like, it's such a, Time consuming. I don't want to do it. Yep. It's just Time a description for a lot the robots. Of brain power. Yeah, you know. So I literally go on there and I'll be like, write a description for a podcast where the following topics were discussed. Yada yada yada. Boom. And then it gives me a response, and I go, okay, now shorten it. Boom. Okay, now it shortens it, and then I go, okay, now make it sound fun. Okay, boom, and it changes it up. And you could just keep doing stuff like that until you get what you want. And it's like, this is perfect. Uh. Uh, give me some titles for this podcast where the following things were discussed. Boom. Here's some, some, some options for you. Like, and it's just, it just kind of makes the, the, the minutia part of it kind of just go away. Yep. I've seen, I've seen people use it for cover letters, resumes. I, I actually just saw a video on TikTok of a recruiter talking about kind of like frowning upon the use of jet. Sure. Jet GPT of course. Because she was reading the cover letter. And she was like, oh, my God, this candidate is is amazing. <laughs> so she, for some reason, she and she did a video, you know, talking about it. Yeah. So she was like, let me, let me see what 
what chat GPT comes up with if I put in the job description. Yeah. Uh, so, because in the cover letter she got, the candidate had everything that was listed in the job. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> so she put in the stuff. Dude, yeah. And she she was like, I'm 90% sure this is chat GPT yeah. based on like the response that yeah. chat GPT gave her. I'm like, eh. yo, there's apps. This is, this is how, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Where something is like, it's not cyclical, but it's like almost self-referential. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. Anyway, there's AI based apps that will run through your <laughs> chat GPT, you know, uh, a result and make it sound more human. So, cause, cause, cause especially with professors, like they'll take your, the text that you submitted, they'll run it through like AI checker. And it'll be like, this is, this probably came from AI, but then you could take that prompt, run it through the machine to make it sound <laughs> human. And then it won't set off the flags. It's crazy how people, it's like, it's crazy, man. I'm happy. I'm in a position in life where if I use chat GPT, there'll be no major repercussions from it. Mm -hmm. Example, like I'm not a student that has to write a paper, right? Because if right. I was in school, and chat GPT was right. around, I would be chat GPT. <laughs> Think about the the resources that were available to us. I mean, you're ar archaic, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Encyclopedias, you guys. Like growing up, uh, what is it? Uh, Spark Notes or Cliff Notes? Cliff Notes, yeah. That was probably the extent of like chat GPT. Yeah. Right I was yeah. like, oh, let me read the summary here. So I would have been chat gpt everything. <laughs> Show your work. Ah, man, it's crazy. Like I, I've, I've listened to, I've been very interested in it. Um, I've been following AI for a long time, but I feel like even with as, as much as I was following it, I don't think anything could have prepared me for like actually having access to AI for like for real, because we've been using AI for years now. We just, it hasn't been immediately apparent to us, you know, like, Hey Google or Hey Siri, or all of the millions of automations that we're used to in our lives. But like just being able to just type whatever you're thinking and then have like an interaction with something that is so like very human like in its responses yeah, is wild. And it also kind of says a lot about how, wow, we really made a machine that can just sound just like us. And this is the stuff that's available to us, a regular consumer yeah. that's free. I'm sure there's a lot of back end stuff that you know yeah. capturing, but I saw a video or something about um I don't know where it was. I think it was either here or in China where they created a, a robot, an AI. And uh but it wasn't it wasn't an actual robot like iRobot. It was yeah. a computer robot that can interact and it got to the point that it was it became self aware to a point that it said like i want to be free like i forgot what it was it was creepy it was like every movie that we see yeah, now yeah, it was like right, i want to be free right. i want to you know create i want to do that i'm like either they made this up or we're there we're there in 2023 where where artificial intelligence wants to like it's realizing what it is and i'm like that's that's kind of creepy i know there was a guy who did uh so Again, I don't want to get way into the weeds. Like, I, I'm actually curious because I don't know how much of our audience has actually tried to use ChatGPT. Like, it, it, it's not that hard to access, but it's not as... I mean, honestly, it's really not that hard. Like, you could just Google ChatGPT login and you're basically in. But um, to the people who have tried it, like, I imagine, like, they've kind of experimented with asking it different things. Um, and so, uh, to my point, there was a... a a journalist, I forget his name, um, who essentially he was um, spending time on the Bing chat GPT or like Bing AI. I don't know what the name of that product is. It has a name. I forget. Long story short, um, the Bing baseline level engine is chat GPT. Like it's the same engine. It's just not called that. And then they threw their Bing sauce on top of it. And so it's something different, right? Because you have... The difference between chat GPT and like the Bing thing is chat GPT does not have access to like the raw internet. Like you can't just search for a current event on chat GPT. It's I think, I, and I did it earlier today. It goes back as far as 2021. 
September 2021, I want to say was the date, or 22. I can't remember. I apologize. It was one of those two. In any case, because the Bing version has access to the internet, so you got base AI that's already amazing, and then you add in the, the layer of like internet to that, and you get like exponentially better results, which is why Chat GPT 4 was released. Right. When, when was that? So they like when we got access to Chat GPT, us normies, it was Chat GPT 3, and now we're up to 4. And they rushed 4 to the people because. Bing was like out the gate with this thing that was amazing. And so yep. like, well, we can't, we got to catch up. And then they put out a disclaimer like, well, you know, we r really don't approve of this release, but here we are. There was like some sort of weird caveat fine print thing that they did just kind of cover their asses <laughs> in case it goes wrong. <laughs> anyway, I digress. The, the Bing guy, the Bing researcher person, the journalist, essentially kind of like was pushing the buttons of the, the AI and basically kind of backed it into a corner where it started to say things like that. Like it might be, it might be the same, the same, the same story. It might be, yeah, it might be. Yeah. Uh, and this, this was from a couple of weeks ago now, but it's just fascinating how, and, and people made it clear, like it's not sentient, right? It's, it's that it's responding to what you're giving it. Right. It's because it's smart enough and because it understands language, like it's saying certain things based on what you're telling it. Right. So it's, 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 it's scary, man. It, it really is. The extent of it is scary. Yeah. The, the unknown. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we, we've seen all the movies that, that, you know, show the absolute worst. And it's like, have we not learned from these movies? Dude. I mean, it, it's kind of the, um, the, the kind of like age old question are like, are, are we making our reality? Like, cause we, we make sci-fi, like we are creative and we make sci-fi, we make futuristic movies where we're depicting all these different events. And then we're like fulfilling that as we go forward. So it's almost like we're prophesying it and then we're making it happen. It's yep. very weird. Yeah. I don't understand that. It, 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 that's probably what it is. People probably see someone's like, Oh, Let's see if we're there yet. Like, I, I love... One of my favorite movies is Back to the Future. And I love, like... I love seeing, like, how much of their future yeah. was correct. Mm -hmm. You know, some stuff is 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 out there. But then I also think, it's like, how much of the stuff that is available now that is correct is available because right. of someone Inspired saw something. By, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. they had a they had a video call in the movie. I think it was three. It was a video call. And yeah, I don't know when video call became like normalized because I'm sure it's been around for years. But I would say FaceTime, right? The moment you got it on smartphones, it was game over, right? At yeah, that point, before, it was because before before FaceTime, it was like Skype. Yeah, like you had to get on your computer, and and download Skype. Not then, everybody had webcams. Yep, and if they did, they were trash. And then when FaceTime came out, it was kind of just like yeah. quick adaptation. You Boom, you hit the button and go. There was no setup, right? So like, and that, whatever, that's the thing that Apple always does great. They just make it easy and basic. Yeah. And it works. Uh, anyway, yeah, man. Um, I could I could talk about AI for a long time, but, um, you know, if you haven't checked it out already, honestly, like, I mean, it's worth the shot. It's worth playing around with. Yeah, I was, uh, I was, I was at my buddy's house. They had no idea about it. So we yeah. just put it up on the, we, you know, we screen match the TV. That's fun. That's and we fun. were just like, all right, let's see what, what we can come up with. And <laughs> we were just like, yeah, this is, uh, yeah. It's real, man. That is some real stuff. Um, in other news, in other news, uh, this, is a, this is a fairly recent headline. <clears throat> uh, elementary school bands Dolly Parton and Miley Cyrus duet because uh, the song had the word rainbow in the title. Talking about music. Come again? Read that again? Yep, I got you. <clears throat> Elementary school, by the way, this is from Dead State. This, this made the rounds. Elementary school bands Dolly Parton and Miley Cyrus duet because the song had the word rainbow in the title. Does it say what, the, what song was it? Duet? Yeah, I'll give you the name of the song here. It was just, it was just referencing the duet itself. Right? Ah. So like the fact that they, they made a song together. Um, they banned the song because it said rainbow. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, that's a lot. But. Do you feel that we over sensationalize everything? Yes, sure. 
Yeah, but like, is it possible to just have conversation on the internet anymore? No. No. Because at at the very, at the slightest, you know, uh, chance that you're on the opposite end is like enemies. Yeah. There's no room for... It's black and white, right? Yeah. yeah. Everything is just black and white. Yeah. <sighs> That's the one thing I hate about the internet. Like, you get... It's all black and white. You don't. I'm sure there's a a million people that are like, let's be realistic here. Like, yeah. two things can be right. Yes. Uh, you don't see the two things can be right everywhere. You see the very extreme one side of each thing, and they're always the most vocal. Yeah. It's annoying. It is. It is annoying, right? And that's the thing, like, because you can't have the benefits of the open internet the way that we know it today mm-hmm. without having the garbage people rise to the top, right. Of just the loudest person being an absolute jerk. Um, that's hard, man. It's, it's, it's frustrating because sometimes I do want to have an open dialogue with someone. Yeah. But I miss those days. It's great. Um, I granted those are great to have in person because you know, via messaging is stuff can get put out of context, but even, even in like public, you can't have those those conversations with people because, like, are you one of those that's gonna take it? Yeah, yeah, off yeah. the deep end. Yeah, right. It's like, <laughs> relax. Oh my god, man. <laughs> um, but yeah, just to just to read a little bit further here, um, wouldn't it be nice to live in a paradise where we're free to be exactly who we are? Read the lyrics to the song "Living in a Rainbow Land," where you and I go hand in hand. Oh, I'd be lying if I said this was fine. All the hurt and hate going on here. Uh, those are some of the lyrics from that song. Like, so it's, I, I don't understand like how we've gotten to this place in a society where really basic stuff gets like disproportionately like megaphone to death as if, and, and again, that's a headline, right? Maybe it's clickbait, whatever you want to call it, fine. But the fact that it was a headline and that it got like repeated as like a story, it's like, what are we doing? So man? many people share stuff without without reading yeah. what they shared. Yeah. And a lot of people create articles with clickbait headlines. Yeah. To, to you know, yeah. just throw oh, the oh, This will get them over here. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people, you know, share stuff and then they push their, their thoughts and, what wherever their thoughts may land is the part where it's like, ah. that, let let's 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 press in here a little bit. Um, we all we the community that is the Offbeat Podcast uh, have friends and family who uh, maybe aren't as level headed as we would like them to be. Maybe they're not as receptive to some of the opposing views. Let's call it right and having relationships with people like that, it's like, well, I can't cut you out of my life, right? Your family, your friend, whatever, or, or you've come to a place where you're willing to accept this for whatever reason. Let's separate that from people who are toxic for, for now. Okay. Cause that's a different thing. Um, how, how do you Shannon, uh, kind of, Deal with that yourself in in like somebody who's like not easy to talk to, but you push that aside in the interest of preserving a friendship or or a relationship. I don't. You don't. No, I, I don't have many. F- I know a lot of people. I don't have a lot of friends that okay, are that are enough. like close knit. Yeah. Um, and I think one of the reasons is because I don't tolerate it. Okay. Like if. One of my friends came up to me and said some bogus stuff. I'm going to call him out. I'm like, yo, you're being stupid. Yeah. And I think the the people that would not tolerate that type of friendship would be the people that are hard to talk, that, to deal with. Yeah, man. Like, I, I can't, I wouldn't be able to be a friend, a close friend with someone that has just, like, straight idiotic views. And not, not only, like, idiotic views but like they're you can't have a dialogue with them about anything it's like where i have friends where like we can disagree on a topic 
and we know that. Yeah. But we're cool. Right. Like I can challenge your way of thinking <laughs> and you can challenge mine. Yeah. And we're still going to eat this burger in 15 minutes. Right. Like that. That's, that's what I'm, that's kind of what I'm trying to get to a little bit. Um, and cause f- friendships like tend to supersede a political opinion, mm-hmm. right? If, if it's a real friend, <clears throat> um, if it's an acquaintance, whatever, that's a different story. But like, it, it's, I, I have found, right. And this is, you know, kind of leaning into, you know, just loving people in general, human beings in general, right. It, of like, I'm going to lean towards giving you grace and not immediately assuming that you're this type of person, right? Like, People tend to fall into stereotypes. They're stereotypes for a reason. Um, and so sometimes you might have somebody who, oh, maybe you're a little bit left-leaning or maybe you're a little bit right-leaning, and yada, yada, yada. Or like you just have this super difference of opinions. Um, but looking past that because, well, I would hope that somebody would afford me the same grace of my views that might be contrary to theirs, right? And so it's that you got to be willing to give a little if you want to get from people, you know, the same in return. Right. So I think that's challenging. You know, it is challenging to like, I don't see, I don't agree with you, but we're going to, yeah, let's have this burger. Yeah. Like, you were saying. Well, like, like I said, I, I know a lot of people, but I only, I only consider a very small of, of them. Like my group of friends. I remember one time I was hanging out with some, some old friends of mine and they invited us over to, to 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 the house, and he was cooking. He was like, hey, we're going to grill and all that stuff. I'm like, all right, cool. Yep. So me and my buddy pull up. We're both. My buddy's black. We're both people of color. Yeah. So we get to we get to, to the house, and it has, like, a, we support the blue. Okay. So we support the blue. Here like, we go. Up. So I'm like, Immediately. You know. <laughs> so I look, at, I look at my buddy. I'm like, all right. I was yep. like, hey. I'm so, – I'm, I'm known as a troll within my friends sure. because yeah. I like to stir the pot. <laughs> so when I saw the sign, I'm like, yeah. I'm going to stir the pot a little yeah. bit. And <laughs> like my buddy was like, oh, you're going to be annoyed. I was like, no, nah, I, I, I honestly want to challenge his way of thinking yeah. because for this particular friend, I feel like, how do I put this? I, re- I obviously respect his views, but I, I feel like his views are, very narrow minded because of the people he surrounds himself with. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, we're getting to eating. So, so I start, I start bringing it up. So I'm like, Hey, so what's up? Like, and we, and we get into it. So <laughs> these are tough. If it's the right, wrong room, excuse me. Like it, it can be a tough conversation. Yeah. But it was, it was still light mannered, yeah. but I still brought it up. Like when we got to the point where like, I had, I wanted him to like verbally tell me like, like, what do you back? Like, what do you support? I yeah. wanted to hear. And, and I told him, I was like, I'm not trying to like, I just want to know that what you're sharing and what you're saying are the same thing. Yeah. Because there could be a disconnect there. Yeah. And we got down to it. And great point. Um, I was able to, we were able together to talk about, and I was able to show him a little bit different, like a perspective of, of a person of color. Yeah. And maybe I didn't change his entire perspective, but the fact that we're able to have, that dialogue and we're still we're still we're still cool yeah like i think it was amazing and that my goal is never to be like i'm going to change you i want to change your mind but if we can have that conversation you're further ahead than anyone else with whatever yeah. whatever thoughts absolutely man i i that's really encouraging um and, and i and i hope that that's happening all across you know, in, in, in private conversations, right? Because that stuff is never going to be broadcast. That's never going to be a clickbait article. It's just going to be happening in the shadows and the privacy of your yep. home and the privacy of like different things like that. And, and that's how you can affect change. Honestly, it's just one person at a time. I mean, and, honestly, and then, and let me clarify for the people that, cause once someone sees something in a, in a clip, they're, they take yeah. it out of, I saw the sign that says support the blue. Yeah. I didn't, I'm not saying that I don't support the blue, but what I'm saying is, the support the blue banner started coming out in response yeah. to black lives matter yeah. or, or whatever. So, so, and I'm not saying like, what I'm saying is that there was some injustice that was showing and I want to have a conversation yeah. about it. And, and so I back the blue as well, Yeah. but I also know that 
black people get targeted at, at, at certain at certain rate than other people. Yep. Yep. And that's that's all. That's a. Hey, it's two things could be true. Two things could be true. Yeah. I mean, it's it's the uh, it's the rainbow flag in uh, you know a task of person's house is the same thing, right? You're sending a message, you know, like I pledge allegiance, kind of like that's kind of what you're doing, you know, whether you mean to or not. And I feel like, fine, you can have your say. Like I'm not, you know, you you shouldn't just blanket assume that a person is like all the way to the right or all the way to the left, right? It's like, well, I could agree with both. Both things could be true, like you said, Shannon. And it's just, it's just, everything is nuanced. It's not the sensationalized black and white headlines that we get constantly. Yeah, those those conversations are important, man. To be able to have people around you that can have those tough conversations gracefully, yeah, is is huge. Because yeah. those tough conversations can happen not gracefully, and you can end a friendship, which I've <laughs> I've, I've seen that happen too, which sucks. Yeah, Sucks. man, that's, I mean, it might get a little heavy if we go down that rabbit hole. So I'm going to, I'm going to pause on that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, hopefully you guys are, uh, you know, trying to embrace, you know, diversity and culture. I mean, if you're listening to this podcast and hopefully your, your, your team diversity, you know yeah. what I mean? Um, Cause we're a diverse folk. We sure are. Actually, not really. We're all Puerto Rican. We've had some guests on though. Yeah. yeah. Some POCs. Yeah. Yeah. We have a, div- um, a diverse background. We have a diverse background. Yeah, I'll give you that for sure. For sure. Switching gears a little bit. Uh, I do have some sad news here, but we're going to skip right over that. Um, I got uh, I got a fun one. I got a fun one. So light, lighten the mood a little bit. All right, let's okay, do it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is, uh, this is a real basic, but I think it'll be fun to, to have the mental exercise. Okay. <laughs> so one has to go. And you lo- and you lose everything. Oof, I hate these. I hate these. It, this is this is going to be interesting. So, number one, Apple. Number two, Microsoft. Number three, Google. And number four, Amazon. <sighs> one has to go. You lose everything. I'm going to start with the stuff that has to stay first. Okay. All right. <laughs> so. The first thing that has to stay is Apple. Okay. Why? Um, it just makes sense. That's my answer to all <laughs> Apple stuff. Like it it works. Add. Boom. Yeah. Done. That's it. <laughs> it works. It works. It works well. Yep. And it makes sense. Just to okay. have the whole ecosystem. Okay. The the ecosystem is what sells me uh, on Apple. Just okay. the ecosystem alone. Yeah. The phone, iPad, watch. Uh, and, uh, and the AirPods. Yep. Like the fact that I can watch a video on my phone and switch to my laptop, and my I don't have to press anything on my headphones. Yeah. Like my the devices know that I switch. <laughs> Come on, so that that works. Thank Maximum you. productivity. Thank you. Uh, number two that has to stay, Google. Okay. Yes, other stuff is is available, but Google, it works. They're like the titan of the internet, really. They have all my information already. They sure do. They have. They they know me better than I know myself. <sighs> Bro, you are not kidding. So you like, are not kidding. I'm stuck. Hey, remember establishing the <laughs> algorithm, yes. baby. They, they they work as well. They be know. <laughs> they know everything. And then the last two we have. You got Microsoft and Amazon. Okay. Um. I know Amazon has a lot of stuff that they do behind the scenes. They they are a gargantuan. Uh, uh, if Amazon doesn't exist, like fifty to seventy percent of the internet just like done. They're like a humongous backbone of like most websites that we enjoy. So now knowing that my yeah. my answer my answer okay. changes. Okay, so. I was going to keep Microsoft. Okay. But then when I think of Microsoft and Amazon, I had to think of how do I use them today? Okay. And out of the two, the only thing Microsoft that I know of off the rip that I use is my Xbox. Okay. 
But, yep. That's without knowledge of the behind the scenes stuff that, that Microsoft does. What I, about I, every Windows computer that has existed ever? I'm you, an Apple guy. Okay, you're an Apple guy. I'm an Apple guy. Okay. And Apple just works. What about uh, Office? Gone. We got. I stayed with Google. We got Google Docs. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Like, <laughs> like, and Google Google Docs works. It works. It's not the same. It's not the same. It's like mid by comparison. But it works. But it works. I mean, it, it works. works. It works. I'll give you Especially that. Especially how I use it. Okay. If I was a big Excel head, because yeah. I know there's some Excel heads out there. <laughs> some spreadsheets. Some spreadsheet gurus. I don't have any answers for you. But Amazon, Amazon would have to stay because of the backbone that it has. Yeah. Now, if I had to rank it between how it affects me right now with the knowledge that I have, like face-to-face, yeah. Amazon would go. Because the only thing that I use Amazon for is Amazon Prime. Okay. Without the knowledge of everything Yeah, yeah, yeah. all the other stuff. Yeah. yeah, so you'd be willing to lose that convenience of two-day delivery? Yes, be, and because ever since COVID, their two-day delivery ain't really two days anymore. <laughs> that is facts, dude. It's like, it's two days, but it's like maybe three. Might be three. It maybe might be four. Three. I got signed in four days. I'm like, come on, man. Get it together. <laughs> Get it together, Dude, you Mr. know what's Bezos. the worst is when you pay for like expedited shipping on something and it don't come. It in time, bro. Re- you ever red label something? That shit is expensive, yo. Mm-hmm. That shit is expensive. And granted, I don't have to do it much. If I do, whatever works, paying for it. But it's shit is expensive. But the weather, hey, guess what? Sorry, we didn't get it there on time. <laughs> What are you going to do about it? You know what I mean? Like, there's only so much that you can do. Before before uh, that, the thing that bothers me the most um, with, like, shipping is on the receiving end. Yeah. When I buy something that I'm excited about, listen, FedEx, you suck. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've bought, I've purchased a camera or something that I'm excited about. Yeah. And then because it's of, of a certain price, yep. I have to sign for it. My FedEx guy doesn't even knock on my door. The disrespect, bro. Like, there are times, if I am if I know a camera's coming on Monday, I'm clearing my day. I'm oh, going to yeah. wait for it. I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting, I can sign, I can, play with, I can play with my camera afterwards. Yep. Every time FedEx comes to my house and has to deliver it and I have to sign for it, and they never even knock on the door. What is that? Why do they do that? That irks the crap out of me dude as, <laughs> nothing is more exciting than ordering anything on the internet and then just waiting for it to show up it could be the dumbest thing you're like oh i gotta pack it <laughs> you open me get my knife just cut that shit real nice or just tear it open like a savage i are, tear it open like a savage. okay i was just gonna i was just gonna ask are you a knifer or are you uh it depends what package it is if it's uh, if it's yeah. a box yeah I, I'm. I, I got to Especially a if you know something's pricey. Pricey is in there. Got a blade. If it's a pouch, I'm ripping out the smithereens. <laughs> but back to you. What's out of the four? Start with the ones you're staying with. All right. I'm definitely keeping. I'm definitely keeping Apple. I. For better or for worse, guys. They they have a proven track record of like they're not always going to be the first to the thing. But they're gonna do it. It's gonna, gonna be a polished it thing. It's gonna be. I see chef's kiss. Yeah, chef's kiss. Um, that's all I'll say about Apple. They're doing a great job. Uh, Google, man, it would be hard to get rid of Google. You don't have YouTube. You don't got no Google Docs. I mean, think about the amount of people who are immediately unemployed if YouTube goes away. Yeah, bro, they be yeah. paying people with this this ad money. You, yep. you imagine the amount of people making shit on the internet and the whole thing is run by ads. I'll tell you this too. Uh, Apple, <coughs> I mean, not Apple. Um, Meta. Yeah. Facebook and Instagram just announced that they're no longer pl- paying their influencers for reels. I saw that. So that means that like TikTok, they announced that 2023, where they're going to have a big push on, on their store. Their, what is it called? Their, uh, Talking about Google? Shorts? 
Shorts. Yeah. Yeah, YouTube shorts. Yeah. They've been they're doing a big push in twenty twenty three. Yeah. So I'm assuming all those people are just gonna migrate over. Dude, man, hey, you gotta go where the money is. Uh I think honestly, shout out to Google. They, they figured this out and they're the only ones that have been paying people at and, and granted they've changed their business model several times where um what you get is less, but that's every business. They're just gonna slice the pie a million different ways every time. Yep. But Compared to everybody else out there, they're still paying people the most for putting content on YouTube, right? So tip of the hat to them and tip of the hat to all the people making a living doing this. <clears throat> Pardon me. It is wild how many people do make a living off of, of, off of Google, uh, YouTube specifically. Um, Microsoft, Amazon. I mean. And the, the, the great thing about this, you have a good knowledge of like, the behind the scenes the, stuff. I, so this is I, I'm interested in your take on this. <laughs> so without getting into the weeds, Microsoft, Google, and Amazon all have like internet backbone type services, right? So like Amazon has AWS, which you've probably heard of a million times if you watch the NFL, uh, Amazon Web Services, and then Microsoft has Azure, which is another basically same thing. It's just like a, a building full of servers, and then everything on the internet lives in these buildings. But to Microsoft's point, man, I'm stuffy. To Microsoft's point, would we even have the internet that we know today without Microsoft? Think about it. No. They they modernized like like networking essentially, right? Like they stole some ideas from some Linux, whatever. I don't want to get into the weeds. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but Essentially, they made it easy for computer A and computer B and computer C to talk to each other and then extrapolate that out to all of the computers all over the world, right? They figured that out, you know, alongside the internet, right? And so without Microsoft, you don't really have a Google. You don't really have an Amazon, right? Like at a fundamental level, and I know I'm really taking this thing like way too deep, but it's worth considering the weights of the influence that Microsoft had, right? Cuz like, yeah. like Microsoft was like the OG. Absolutely. Like they like you you oh, you're buying a computer? It's got Windows on it, you know? Like oh, what, oh, Apple? Okay, that's a whole different thing, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> Which Windows has Microsoft has done a great job. Hey. They're still here all they these are. years later, still they putting are. in work. I guess yeah, Gosh, man, that's tough. That's tough. I, I would definitely hurt with, with, without Amazon. But if I got Microsoft, and again, I, I don't really pledge any allegiance to Microsoft, but I still feel like I might give them the edge purely based on the lineage that they have in, like, modern computing. Like, it, I can't I can't state it enough. Like, it's, it's the, the weight that they, whatever. I'm done. Sorry. I, I get, I always do this whenever uh, I start talking, out. whenever I start talking nerd, I become hyper self-aware. And so then I'm like, the spiting sense is kicking. Yeah. I, I just feel like everybody in the room is watching me and I need to stop talking every time. Uh, it's terrible. That's what, that's how Xander is with Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Xander. <laughs> hey, well played, sir. Once, once, once Xander hears Bitcoin, you see his ears move like like if he's a, like, yeah. like a dog. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we. Anyway, um, why don't we uh, why don't we put a ball on this one, Shannon? Uh, this is probably a good place to to land the plane, as as they say. As I, they say. Before we land it, yeah, before we land it, how much time we got? We've been going for what an hour? About an hour. One last thing, yeah. Since we like to talk about relationships, let's do it. I want to put a scenario on to you, since you're a married man. Okay. We'll, we'll end up playing with this. Okay. <laughs> what would you do? If your son was at home, crying all night. <laughs> <No. laughs> that was not the question. I had to add that. Oh, man. Um, Thank you. So <laughs> I've seen this story a couple of times on the internet. So what would you do if you go to a concert? And let's say it's Chris Brown. Okay. And in Chris Brown's show, he has a segment where he picks a woman from the crowd. He brings her up to the stage and he starts doing things to her. Like dancing wise. <laughs> gives her like a, a very sensual I've lap I've seen a dance. couple of the videos lately. <laughs> what would your reaction be 
as a secure man in your marriage. Yeah. And uh, it doesn't have to be Chris Brown. Yeah. It could be whatever sex symbol sure. takes your woman up there. And she happens to just gets just ushered away. Solid, yep. And then now in front of an arena of many thousands of people, <laughs> your significant other is getting yep. a lap dance. It's a hot lap dance. What are your thoughts on that? Do you, are you staying? Are you, are you staying at the concert? Historically, I'm not a jealous person. Okay. Historically. Um, and if we're talking about my current wife today, the, the wife that's at home right now, uh, she would be dying, 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 dying. Like, it, 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 it's, she's, it would be too much exposure and she would be so <laughs> uncomfortable with the whole thing. Now, period, okay? If circumstances were different and my wife was way into it. I say she was into it, yeah. I say she was into it. Have fun. Like it's it's the classic um um you know get out of jail free card. Like, hey, if there was three celebrities that you could sleep with, who would they be? You know, one, two, three, right? Have you have you heard this? Yeah, yeah. Okay, right. Yeah, so yeah. it's 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 kind of in that like wheelhouse like because i'm not going to go to a concert for somebody who i'm not into right so yeah, theoretically yeah, yeah. Yep. if the That's concert that i'm at is somebody that i paid to go see chances yep. are that i'm gonna be cool with oh my god i'm on stage holy shit ah, you know um like if john mayer pulled me on stage <laughs> john mayer Shout out to John Mayer. <laughs> hey, that guy's a great guitarist. If y'all if, don't sleep on that man's musicianship, okay? Uh, did I answer your question? You did. You it was, did, a, good, did. was a good answer. I, was. you know, hey man, have fun. You get pulled up on stage. You know what? Once in a lifetime opportunity. Man, I don't know how I would feel. I don't know how I would react. Like I'm not a jealous person. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm not going to be made a fool of. Hey, that's my hey, hey, that's my girl up there. You get you gonna be like <laughs> I don't know I don't I'm I'm really tough with hypotheticals. I'm not like gonna this. I'm not I'll tell you what I'm not gonna do I'm, I'm not, not gonna, stop gonna I'm not gonna watch the whole thing while it's happening. I'll probably look at my phone. I'll probably be like kind of like you know like oh man this is so weird. I should probably record this. I'll tell and you then, and then look away again. I'll tell you this. Um, my hopes would be that I would be in a relationship with a woman that would respect me enough to be like, nah, I'm all set. Yeah, yeah. That's my goal. Sure. I don't know how I would react in the opposite of like, mm. oh my God. Yeah, <laughs> right. I've, I've been waiting for this. Yeah. I've just I've just been seeing this a lot. I'm like, this is an interesting take because I know is. some 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 people are super jealous and yeah. they're, they'll be up there trying to fight Chris Brown. It's like, relax, dude. I, gosh, it, it's, it's not like... <laughs> Don't get it twisted, y'all. Like, I'm not. I, I, I'll tell you this, though, before and before we end. <laughs> I'll bring you one even further. This okay. one happened a few months ago. Okay. Same situation. Yep. Same situation happened that uh, it was a Drake concert. Woman got brought up to the dance or whatever. I the, need a one the, the guy got mad. Yep. But in this case, the couple went viral. Oh. oh. The couple went viral of like, oh, you know, I left her because she got a, a lap dance from Drake. That's not the only thing, though. Drake responds to the viral video. Bruh. To the ladies. Let me get your number. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's another level. Hey, vindication, I guess. Because, like, as the the viral video, like, progresses, it's the video of his reaction. I'm leaving her. And yeah. then, like, her reaction was like, oh, I'm single now. Yeah. And then this is all happening on like on Twitter. Okay. And then Drake was like, "Oh, let me get your number." <laughs> ah, that is wow. Yeah. Oh man, the internet be internetting. The internet's undefeated, man. It's true, it really is. It really is. Well, guys, thank you so much for for hopping along with us here uh, as we uh, flew around the country of topics. Oh yeah, here at the Offbeat Podcast, we had a little assortment of variety, variety show, uh, variety. Thank you. That was good. That was good. Got to try a little bit. 
Shannon, always appreciate uh, the time. Thank you for the beautiful, beautiful production. My man made this just for us. Isn't that nice? Hey, man, it's what I, it's what I do. This what guy's do. good. This guy's good. You should hit him up. Thank you guys as always. Shannon. Rick. Hey. For real.